Hi, I'm Keith Cooper, North Light Images, and in this short video I'm going to show how I can make use of some of my old lenses. Now, these lenses are Mamiya 645 medium format lenses. Now, that's proper medium format, not the small medium format of the uh, Fuji and smaller Hasselblad cameras. So, the lenses have quite a large image circle. They need to cover quite a large area of film. That means you can use them as tilt and shift lenses. Now, what am I going to use to use for it? With the EOS RF, I'm going to use a photodiox adapter. It comes in this rather nice box and here is the photodiox adapter lenses just fit onto it here's the photodiox adapter as you can see there is a, a button here that allows me to rotate it there's a button here which allows me to shift backwards and forwards and this screw here loosens the tilt adjustment and that allows me to tilt the lens with relation to the camera. Now you'll see that there are no electrical contacts here that's because the M645 lenses don't have electrical contacts they're fully manual lenses. Uh, this little tab here is just to actuate part of the mechanism here for aperture control. Also you'll see there are no electrical contacts on the back of the adapter. So from the camera's point of view there is no lens there. So this is a fully manual system. You've got no feedback of aperture settings or anything. Not a problem but you need to know about it. So that's the RF mount and there's the M645 mount. Here's an M645 lens. This one happens to be an 80mm f2.8. It's manual setting of aperture here, but what we need to look for is this little red dot here, and there's a red dot on the lens as well. So we line those up, the bayonets fit in place, and it locks. The lens is now locked onto the adapter. Good solid connection. Now there's a little button underneath here, which if you press that, that releases the bayonet and the lens comes off. So if I want to put the lens back on again, there's the red dot, there's the red dot on the lens, put them together, they're done. I now have my M645 lens adapted to fit RF. Now one thing I'd note is, see the difference here this is the difference in flange distance between the mirrorless RF system and the M645 system that's quite a hefty gap there and that allows this mechanism to fit I have a, a basic adapter for M645 to EOS EF lenses and you'll see there's a lot shorter gap um, that's one reason you can't get adapters like this for DSLRs for EOS fitting our um, EF fitting lenses so anyway there is our adapted lens I now need a camera to put it onto here's my EOS RP and as you can see it's got a lens with an adapter it happens to be an Olympus lens that I've been using for shooting video with an EF adapter so take that adapter off and Here's my lens with the tilt shift adapter. Here's a red dot, red mark on there. Line those up, it locks in place. I've now got the 80mm f2.8 Mamiya lens on my EOS R. If I want to change lenses, I can release there, take that lens and put a different lens on lock it back into place there now by slacking off this i've got tilt and in this case the lens simply tilts upwards you'll see that i've only got one direction of tilt it only goes one way if i want to tilt the lens down i need to rotate the entire lens and to do that i press this little button here this pin you can see there are click stops and I've now got downwards tilt. 
The button at the top here deals with shift. So I've got downwards tilt at the moment, but if I want shift, press that, and then shift this direction, shift the other direction. And just take that back halfway. We've now got rid of the shift. We've still got the lens as a normal lens. Tilt, shift. Set that back to the midpoint. If I want upward shift, turned by 90 degrees. I've now got vertical shift or rise, fall. Put it back. And there we are. Now I would note that you've always got, there's no way of changing the setting between um, the direction of shift and the direction of tilt, they're locked together. So we've got that there, and there's tilt. Change it round if we want to do that. Now, I will just quickly put a different lens on. Press this button. Off comes the lens. Take my Mamaya lens, look for the red dot. Look for the red dot here, which in this instance is at the bottom. Line the red dots up. And there we are. I've now got 35mm f3.5 lens with tilt and shift. There's the shift, there's the tilt. I've also got a 55mm f2.8 lens. I've also got this 210mm uh, f4 lens uh, which works very well on this adapter and uh, we'll see some examples and see what it looks like but 210mm is a bit much for tilt and shift but produces some interesting effects. You can put any M645 manual lens on this adapter and it works with your camera. There is a version of this adapter for the Nikon Z mount um, I don't have a Z series camera here to test it, but it works perfectly well in exactly the same way. Slightly longer because the flange distance is shorter on the Z mount compared to the Canon RF mount. But you can put any normal lens on this. Once I'm finished, I can just take the lens off and return my normal adapter. Okay, now I've uh, put the 35mm M645 lens on the EOS RP via the adapter and we're looking at the table with the camera pointing downwards and it's effectively the same shot I just took with uh, me making the introduction to this video. But you'll notice a slightly narrower view because I was shooting that with a 24mm lens, this is a 35mm lens. Now, I'm going to point the camera upwards to a point where we get rid of the converging vertical lines on the door. So the camera is now level. Problem is, it's not pointing at the table. If I now add downward lens shift, I'm not moving the camera, just the lens downwards. There we go. You can see the vertical sides of the door are pretty much vertical now. I'm doing this uh, with a fairly simple video setup, so there's no precision in the alignment, but you get the idea. Notice how the 210mm lens at the back and the box has level sides. There are distortions in this, but um, that's one of the side effects you get of using the shift. Effectively, we're seeing a part of a much ang much larger field of view. Think of it as a wider angle lens and we're just seeing part of it. I'll just move the lens back up again. 
there we go. We now got a level camera. So the sides of the door, everything is properly vertical. And I'll just tilt the camera down again. And there we are. We're back at the table. Notice now how we have diverging vertical lines. That's the basics of using shift. Uh, the main reason I use shift in my architectural photography is because I generally want, and most of my clients want, vertical lines in buildings as truly vertical. Now you can make, put things at alarming angles just for effect, but in general I find people much prefer vertical lines in buildings to be vertical. I'm going to show a quick example of using lens tilt. Uh, in this, I'm going to swing the lens to the left. Now it's quite tricky to show details of using tilt and I'm hoping to produce a series of videos in the near future that actually specifically look at how you use tilt and shift lenses. But for this simple example, I'm just going to tilt the lens to the left. Now you can see that the composition has changed. This happens with some adapted lenses, happens slightly with some tilt shift lenses. So you have to move the camera. Now you can see in moving the camera, I've changed the composition again. Now using adapted lenses with tilt is a bit of suck it and see really to see how it comes up. But in this instance, you can see that with a fairly wide aperture, I've now got a plane of focus that cuts through the lenses, but not the box. So we have the plane of focus now running along here. That's with the lens tilted to the left. We're out of focus over here, we're in focus here. And the plane of focus runs right through out the back here. So that's the basics of what tilt does. Uh, I've got lots more articles that cover this in detail, how you work it out, how you reuse it in real life situations. But uh, this is just to give you an idea of what you can do with these adapted lens. The lens I'm shooting with, by the way, is the Mamiya 35mm f3.5. In this photo, I've tilted the lens, a uh, 50 mil, to the left, and you can see how thin the vertical plane of focus is. It's quite thin and runs away from me into the distance and cuts across the top of the bridge. In this example, I've used the 210 millimeter f4 lens with a strong tilt to the left, and you can see the plane of focus running away into the distance. Now you could run this plane of focus along the ground, along a wall, along a ceiling or anything. It's how you use tilt. These are quite extreme examples, but they show the effect. So there you have how the lenses fit. Uh, you'll notice I've even got a teleconverter here. Uh, tilt shift lenses work with teleconverters. Um, I've written an article about using uh, such adapters. You can use them with normal tilt shift lenses as well as these adapted ones. And uh, do have a look at the article that accompanies this video because it's got lots more details of photos and examples and how you actually use the lenses. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. It's part of our series of articles on using tilt shift lenses. Thank you.